Welcome back to Ray's Trains. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my York video last week. Um, it was it was tough to get that one up, but I'm glad I did because a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Um, so I think I'm like the last one to make a haul video. Everyone kind of posted that right away, but I've got a haul here, as you can see. <laughs> um, my pile's quite a bit smaller than some people's. <laughs> But uh, that's okay, uh, because we do have a big ticket item here, uh, which I wasn't expecting to buy, and that kind of killed the budget for the whole thing. But, um, but before I get into the stuff, I just want to talk about uh, York itself, because if you guys saw my other video, I was talking about day one, uh, just, you know, showing off the booths and stuff. I uh, walked out with my big prize, but uh, day two was really uh, a social event. Um, uh, first, I want to say thank you to everybody who came up to me and said hello. I really appreciated uh, every one of you for doing that. It was great to meet new people. It was great to um, talk to my friends that I've already known from other shows. And uh, the three rails, four dads got to hang out. I think I have a picture of that I'll put up. Um, I was, Dell got there on Thursday. I was kind of hanging out with him. But then Art and Mike showed up on Friday. And uh, the four of us were kind of cruising around all day together. So that was really awesome. And I have a stack of stuff here. <laughs> So many business cards from different people, uh, different YouTubers, different people from Instagram. Uh, Mike gave me my secondhand Overland stickers, so thank you, Mike. Mike also gave me a universal universal remote, excuse me, um, that Dell is holding for me. So big thanks to Mike for that. Uh, it was just fun to hang out all four of us in person finally. Um, and I got to meet uh, Jim, uh, Jim Gam, the train man. It was good to finally hang out with Jim for a little bit. I got to hang out with Aiden from uh, some Strasburg 90 foamer. Uh, it was good to see Aiden. He was wearing my raised train shirt. I said, that's a good viewer right there. <laughs> um, and then Friday night, I'll just talk about this quickly. I was uh, fortunate enough to get invited uh, to Chris uh, Chris's house from Chris's Trains and Things. Um, I got to see his beautiful layout, and that was a really cool hangout uh, with a bunch of different people. And uh, Chris showed me his Metro North cars. I was super jealous. Uh, was hanging out with Bill B there. Shout out! I I was kind of hanging out with Bill B all three days. Can't forget Bill B. And uh, I want to throw out one more shout out here to the Lower Susquehanna Valley uh, Railroaders. I went to see their modular layout on Saturday after the show. And so shout out to John and Chris and Mike. They were super nice. Um, I had already kind of linked up with John a little bit online. Um, John and me have been messaging before then, but it was really great to go and see their layout. Uh, so if you're ever down there, down there in the Strasbourg area, uh, check them out because it's really cool layout. And they even have an HO, even bigger layout upstairs uh, that's currently under construction. But yeah, I know I'm forgetting stuff. Sorry if I'm forgetting people. <laughs> But uh, it was just great. It's great to meet so many uh, amazing people. And uh, that's the best part of York. You know, the stuff is kind of is secondary, as cool as the stuff is. Uh, getting to meet everybody. That's been the part that I've enjoyed the most. So, uh, I'm not going to unbox anything here today, but let's talk about what I've got. <laughs> so... 
First of all, my buddy Dell gave me this MTA hard hat. Shout out, thanks, Dell. <laughs> I said I'd wear it in this video. Um, and then my buddy Art gave me this really cool shirt. Uh, really nice shirt there from Art. I was wearing this on Saturday. And uh, JD Stucks, uh, Jason gave me this koozie when I was at uh, Chris's on Friday. Uh, so thank you, Jason. It's a good, always good to see Jason. And um, Art also hooked me up with, uh, Art has a 3D printer and he's been experimenting with different stuff here. So he gave me some, uh, some steel girders here. <laughs> he gave me, some pallets and I got some barrels here I think yeah he gave me a bunch of uh, some uh, oil drums here so thank you art for that um, and then he also did these picnic tables which look great I said I'll give my hobos uh, a picnic table now <laughs> on the table um, then I picked up the, uh, I've kind of been wanting this for a while. I picked up the Wonder Woman Invisible Jet flat car. So we'll open that at some point. Um, this this was hilarious to me. I've, I've always wanted to pick that up. So I did. And um, I bought a couple packs of trestles from Art as well. Um, I kind of been... I don't know when I'm going to mess with these exactly. Uh, there's going to be nothing permanent yet. I'm going to play around with them at first because uh, the only way to go on this layout now is up. There's no more space for, for anything else. So Art, um, I bought these and, and didn't end up using them. Uh, so he gave them to me for a really good price. So I said, I'll take them and I'll uh, see what I can do with them. Hopefully I can make it work. And then... Um, this was really cool. I wasn't expecting to find this. Um, Dell was also looking for some backdrops. You guys know I don't like my white walls here. Um, and I think we both found a solution. In the back where Train World usually is, um, in that corner there, there was a, a place selling uh, backdrops. They had a they had them all out so you could look at them. And my buddy Dell bought four. And uh, I did the same. It was really good, great. These were like three for 35, something really cheap. Um, so I'll show this off. I got one of those, which is a farm scene. I got a second farm scene. I got... Um, I got a town and then I think there was a mountain in here. Yeah. And I got a mountain. So that should be enough. I may have to, they, they might even be too long, but I can just cut them. There should be enough to put one on each side of the window and then two, uh, going across on that wall there. And, uh, that'll be a, it was a nice temporary solution to the white walls, a cheap temporary solution. And I think that's going to look really good. I'm, I'm going to put those up on a video almost right away. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, I guess we'll talk about the big purchase here. I did uh, want to get, now Ralph didn't have any on hand, but I am going to get one from him. Uh, first of all, Ralph's, Ralph's booth is amazing. Um, I showed it off in my video uh, last week. But uh, Ralph had a crane, a military crane. Um, and actually, he said, hey, I don't have any. But the guy who he sold it to last year brought it for repair. Um, so on the second day, Ralph pulled it out. And uh, he's like, look, here's uh, here's your crane. And I was like, 
all right, I want that. So uh, Ralph's going to build me, build me one of those. I'll put a picture of that up uh, as well. But uh, the big, the big item that I wasn't expecting to buy, uh, I did get an engine. You guys know that's a big deal. Anytime we get an engine on this, on this channel. So I will not unbox it today. I got something special planned for this, but I will show you. Um, oh, I, I didn't get the SD70, um, uh, RBP's SD70, because Train World uh, had those kind of marked up. Not even marked up, but, um, you know, it, it was used and it's, I, I got this for a much cheaper. <laughs> so I got uh, the Gerzbowski's Custom Run GP30, um, the Reading and Northern uh, Legacy GP30. Now this is the red one, not the green one. Um, I'll put a picture of it up. Uh, so you can see both of them. But yeah, this is a custom run from Gerzbowski's and Joe kinda, kinda gave me a good deal on it. So I couldn't resist. So I did walk away with an engine and I am pumped to open this one up. Um, so yeah, just, just a great experience uh, as usual. Um, it was definitely the most fun York I had been to. Uh, you know, it's my third one now. And, uh, you know, the more people I meet, it's just getting better every time. So, um, stay tuned for the unboxings of all this stuff. And, uh, I'll end the video with, um, uh, some footage from Chris's house, checking out his layout. Oh, and RJ, it was great to hang out with RJ. Uh, me and RJ were hanging out a lot over the three days, so, uh, yeah, so I'll show you, uh, those Metro North cars, Chris opened them up for me, and I was very, I was very jealous, but, uh, my own should be coming soon, but anyway, all right, guys, I'll leave you with that footage, and, uh, thanks for watching, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bill, look out. Look at that. Um, look at the, they got the engineer in on the, oh, the cab car. And the lights are right, like when it's going in reverse, they'll, they'll turn red.